If the bondman shall say distinctly, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go free, then his master shall bring him before the judges, and shall bring him to the door, or to the doorpost, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall be his bondman forever. Exodus 21, 5-6 The True Bond Servant From the early pages of history, when sin and death entered this world through man's disobedience, the Old Testament scriptures are replete with illustrations, types, and shadows that all point on to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. No one else could reveal the heart of God but his beloved Son. He only could answer to the description of this bondservant of Exodus 21. What a significant moment had arrived when Christ came with these words upon his heart. Lo, I come, in the roll of the book it is written of me, to do, O God, thy will. Hebrews 10.7 All heaven rejoiced as the sweet fragrance of Christ rose up to God from the babe in Bethlehem's manger until the cross. He was indeed that true bond servant. One of the more beautiful features of this servant is seen in those simple words, I love my master, my wife, and my children. These were not mere empty words, no. His actions gave clear evidence that his love was genuine and strong as death. Many waters cannot quench love, neither do the floods drown it. Song of Song 8, 6-7 how beautifully this portrays the love of Christ which passes knowledge. After the servant's six years of service, typifying the sinless perfection of the Lord Jesus, he could go out free, but Christ would not, for he would not remain alone. Therefore he must go into death, the death of the cross, submitting to the just judgment of God against sin, there, during the three hours of darkness, all the waves and billows of God's wrath overflowed him, but his love prevailed and proved stronger than death, love for his master, his wife, and his children, Jacob Redekop.